these pictures were taken in the simplest of ways. I shot with a Rolleiflex. There was no additional light, and I obviously had subject matter that was charismatic and unique. This image, for example, you know, she was in a makeup room, and it was intimate because I was in there with her, and she had just at one point just stopped putting on her own makeup, looked up, looked into the mirror, and it was just sheer beauty. Uh, there was no prodding necessary. I didn't have to ask her to move her head to the left or to the right. It just, it just felt right. I called her, we set up uh, an appointment uh, to go down to her place uh, in the ghetto of the Lower East Side at that time uh, on East 4th Street. And the only thing she required of me was Richard call me from the phone booth across the street. This was 1983 and I didn't really question it. She said, you'll understand when you get down there. And when I got down there, there were a gang of uh, men, kids hanging outside on the stoop. And they were really kind of, it felt like the guardians of their domain. And uh, once I called her and she said it was cool to pass, I walked up, I said, I'm here to see Madonna. And the seas parted. And then I hear this voice from above screaming my name. I walk into the foyer, I look up the banister, and I see these amazing eyes looking over uh, the banister. She opened the door, I walked into her apartment, which opened right up into her kitchenette, which was probably, you know, I mean, it was just tiny. And there were uh, a small table and two chairs to the left and the stove to the right. She said, have a seat. Uh, she turned her back for a moment or two and literally turned around with a silver plated tray with two espressos and bazooka bubble gum. I said, let's, you know, let's get up and move around. And she leaned on that stove unlike anybody could lean on a stove. Uh, that was light coming through a filtered window. I think her bathroom door was open and it was magic. Alec and I were introduced about a year or two ago. I was asked if I would collaborate with him on a few images of Madonna. We actually met in Mexico City. We hit it off immediately. I loved him. I loved his energy. I loved his spirit. I loved his commitment to collaborate. And we just fell in love with each other's spirit, if you will. For me, the images with the kids in general move me the most. Um, and it could be that image there where she's hanging out um, up on the roof with those um, five kids. Uh, it's not so much that I think the photograph is better than the others, it's the spirit behind it. Uh, this is a young woman at the time, 25, who was really giving something back. I don't think she even knew it. She was giving something back to her neighborhood. These kids who had nothing. I didn't know she was going to explode. I felt I was in the, in the throes, in the hands of something special. Uh, I hadn't heard her, her music. I fell for her spirit. Mm -hmm.